Yeah, Victor again from Australian Honeybee. Um, thought I'd make a short video. A lot of people have been asking me to uh, explain why we've chosen this setup for our truck. So, um, last to make a quick video. So, first of all, we've got the Dodge Ram 3500 series. This truck has a common 6.7 litre diesel in it, which puts out about 385 horsepower and loads of torque. So, it's got lots of pulling power. It has a 6.35 tonne GVM in its own right, so we can use it to carry quite a good uh, load of, of uh, beehives or, or honey boxes. Um, it's, we've got a tray body here that we, we bought from, from CM Truck Beds in the, in the USA. It's got all the integrated toolboxes, which are really nice. A place you can put all your tools and smokers and straps. The truck's a dual rear wheel, which is very important for the weights that we're carrying. So the trailer, this is a trailer that we bought from the US, from Gator in the US. It's a 12 ton GVM trailer. And it's, uh, so we've start with, we've got a hitch here that's built into the bed. As you can see with the air hoses, it's got full air brakes. With the truck, all the electricals all plumbed in and wired in here. So it's nice and easy. Um, we optioned the trailer here with uh, electric landing gear, electric hydraulic landing gear. So we, we, it's really very easy to to unhook the trailer. We can unhook it, you know, in a couple of minutes if we need to leave it and, and go. Uh, toolbox is integrated into the front of the trailer. That's where we, you know, store out all the stuff that we use every, on an everyday basis, like our bars for, you know, undoing straps and, and spare straps and things like that. We've got the spare tire here. We've also had added an extra spare tire here. And we use the area up here to store the spare tire for our little machine. The deck, the deck is a 25 foot uh, long deck. I think it's about 7.6 meters long. So we can fit on this trailer. We can fit 120 beehives, which is five rows of beehive pallets, two high, and we can also fit our little machine, our little multi one mini loader, on the trailer. So we effectively don't need to carry anything on the truck other than our swags and camp gear. Uh, so not access to the trailer. The good thing about a gooseneck trailer is just how low the height is. So, you know, that's about 800 millimeters tall. Very low compared to most trucks. Getting up onto the truck steps. And also, you need to get up on top of your load to check straps or whatever. Climb up in front of the trailer here. Climb up onto there, so nice, nice easy access to the load to check. Uh, we, put a we can put integrated toolboxes underneath the trailer. Uh, we've got one on this side, two on the other side. We've got the integrated strap system built in. These straps, these are I think four and a half ton straps, or two and a half ton straps, sorry. There's a rail underneath here. They hook onto the winches on the other side. Now we've optioned the trailer up with two 12,000 pound axles is what they call them in the US. But if you have a look underneath, probably at the back end, you'll see that we've also optioned the full airbag suspension. This trailer gives the bees a beautiful ride because of the airbag suspension. So it's a very, very smooth riding trailer. As you can see, we can fit three pallets wide on the truck. Now in the US, they, their road widths are different to ours. Normally they would have an extra rub rail that goes along each side. So we had to get them to drop that off just to bring it in under the Australian road rules. Um, the guys in the US changed the indicators, lights, because in the US some of the colouring is different. You know, they have a red indicator, we have an amber. Two, two integrated toolboxes on this side. The strapping channel, if you can see that. We got them to put the strapping channel on underneath here and the winches just slide in. And we've got the bar, we can you know, tension up our load nice and, nice and secure. That's about it, so I'm on, here's our compliance plate. As I said, it's a 12 ton G GVM vehicle. Uh, the truck, the combined gross rate of the Ram is, is about 15 and a half ton. 
So, you know, we don't actually fully utilize the full coast capacity of this trailer at the moment, but our new truck will, will have a closer to 20 ton GVM, so it'll give us full access to, to the work, the capacity of the trailer. Fire extinguisher. So it's fully compliant in Australia um, for registration purposes. It took us quite a long time, nearly two years, to get to get through the whole approval process. But but we're finding it very flexible. The good thing about a gooseneck trailer um, over a standard trailer is how agile they are. So you can see how the truck can jackknife in around the trailer. So when you when you sort of when we're turning in tight spots in the bush in the paddocks, you know we can back the trailer in, we can jackknife it around nice and tight, and we can almost turn it on its own. Own length. And that's about it.